there's a, quite a bit of information we're going to cover actually in this particular section. Uh, there's about seven topics here that we're going to look at. First off, we're going to talk about when you select your repository. Just making sure you have the right repo set up. Uh, if we're using an external repo, how you go about setting that up. And then we move on to parallel builds and we talk about parallel builds and how you would set up the builds to, to run in parallel. Then we go on to the build variables and we're going to actually set some build variables. We'll show you how to add secret variables and talk to some other ways in which you can manage your build variables. Then we're going to go into the CI and schedule builds and we're going to actually schedule a build to run and again we have already saw some of the CI builds but we want to make sure that we address the gated check-in builds also as part of that. And then we're going to do the gated check-ins obviously and then we're going to go on to using demands and we're going to set up some demands on the agent to make sure the agent's going to actually be able to do what I'm asking it to do. And then lastly we'll look at the retention policy and try to set up our own retention policy to work with our particular build that we're setting up. So with that I'd like you to join me in the next video where we're actually going to be selecting the source repository and explaining some of the ways which we can work with source repos and VSTS and TFS build. And In this video we're going to actually show you how you go about selecting the source repository that you're going to use to uh, fill, feed the build with your application. So what will you learn? Very simply we're going to talk about the various repository sources. You, there's a few of them out there and we want to show you each one of those and talk to them. Uh, not all of them are we going to connect to but we'll at least look at them. So as you can tell from this dialog, we have the Visual Studio Team Services, or VSTS, um, could also be a GitHub, if for example, a remote repository, uh, Bitbucket, if you're using Bitbucket, the popular ones being, you know, VSTS and GitHub for the most part. I don't know many that are on Subversion still, but if you are, you're also part of the, part of the pack here, and you can be able to uh, tie into the build in VSTS. So with that, let's go look at how you go about setting up uh, the project against GitHub and against VSTS. Okay, so what did you learn in this particular video? Well, we discussed the various sources uh, for the repository that we're going to be pulling in code from. So we showed you the default. Obviously, VSTS is the default, and everybody can use that. That's kind of built in, and we don't have to worry about configuration or anything. Then we have the GitHub option where I actually used OAuth to connect to my GitHub instance and it allows me to pull my code now into my VSTS build from GitHub. And I can do the same thing with Bitbucket, with an external Git server, and with Subversion if I choose to. You'd be using Subversion. So again, there's various options we have for pulling in our repositories into VSTS.